Hello there, Ravaka here in the cockpit of an A10C and I want to give just some very bare bones basics, landing sorts of hints, tips, tricks, etc. I'll be doing this landing 100% from this view right here. I won't be touching it at all. All HUD, no other sorts of guidance systems or anything of the sort. But I need to lower myself, my landing gear, my flaps, and my speed, and like I said, get some altitude down here. And as I set this up, let's just explain some basic stuff here, alright? Um, when you have an aircraft with a heads-up display like this, this guy right here is your number one friend. Uh, he can make landing so much simpler, especially when you're new to it. Um, the, it basically points where your aircraft is headed. And so... In layman's terms, if you put it on the tip of a runway, you will be headed towards, well, the tip of the runway. It's kind of that simple. Now, to make a good landing, though, you also need to make sure you're getting there at the right speed and from the right angle. Um, speed in an A-10 is about 135 knots. That's a good approach speed. Um, and as far as the altitude, when you've done enough landings, you can probably just take a good look at the runway and say, yeah, I'm at a good approach angle from right here. Um, if you're not, well, then these little sets of lights that they put on the side there, well, they're going to be your new best friends, okay? Most runways in this program and in real life have, well, I should say most, but many do have these lights uh, positioned on the side. And what they're there to do is to aid you with getting a good approach. Um, the white, the uh, lights are white and red, and right now we're seeing mostly white, and that means high. Red means low. Now, if you get them so that they're half white and half red, well, then you are where you want to be for a good approach angle. So that's what I'm going to do. They look like they're about where I want them now, and so at this point, I just need to keep that little indicator guy right there at the edge of the runway. And now the next thing I need to do is get my speed where I want it. Now I'm at 160, and that's not, a, that's not good. It's too high. So I'm going to lower it, and as I lose airspeed, I'm going to have to pull the nose up more and more to keep that indicator at the edge of the runway. And that's what we want. That's how we're going to get a good approach here. Um, I'm actually getting a little lower than I want to be now, too. As you can see, those lights are turning mostly red. So I'm going to pull up even higher above the runway. And now as I get to 135... I'm going to apply some speed. Nope, too much. So we'll lower it again. And this is how you set up a good approach. Let me turn on the little controls indicator there so you guys can see that too, if you'd like. I'm still going fast, so we lower the throttle again. And this is what a good approach is about. It's about finding the equilibrium where you're getting the right speed altitude, altitude. at the right approach that you need for a good landing. So I just keep tweaking things and holding myself where I want to go. Keeping that indicator right down there. And keep playing with the throttle there. And now I've hit a pretty good, pretty good spot. Now that I'm this close in, those little lights on the side of the runway mean pretty much nothing. I'm already at the right angle that I want at this point. Um, and as I get right over the runway here, right about now, I'm going to pull back gently. Just holding it in one spot, maybe a little bit more. Right there. And I want to have that indicator right below the level. Cut the throttle now that my wheels have touched the ground. I'm holding the stick in the same spot though. Let the nose drop on its own. Now I'm going to apply the wheel brakes, extend the air brakes to full, and just use just a little bit of rudder of input to keep myself from drifting off the sides of the runway. Now as I get below 70 knots, I'll apply the nose wheel steering, but I have to use a lot less rudder because it's far more responsive now, as you can see, jerking left and right quite easily. And as you can see there, I'm stopping well before the edge of the runway. I'll go ahead and turn off. And as you see, I did all that from the HUD. Uh, none of the other little navigation instruments or systems like that. Just, just what I've got right here in front of me. And uh, if you practice doing your landings kind of like that, using the same sort of techniques and everything I just said, uh, that's that's a pretty good, uh, you know, back to basics kind of thing, I guess. It's, it's, it's doing your, 
your uh, very bare bones basic sorts of bits uh, to help with your, your landing fundamentals, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, and uh, like I said, you can practice that kind of thing um, to try to help you out some. If uh, you're still having trouble getting the approach speed and everything that you need, uh, start from further out. The further out you are from the runway when you begin your approach, it'll give you more time to work on it and tweak it as you fly in. There's nothing wrong with that. A uh, landing is something that's a challenge for every pilot, no matter how experienced they may be. Uh, so never feel ashamed if you need to tweak and work on your landing skills. Um, I hope uh, what I've told you today there helps a bit. Hope that's some nifty advice. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you out. And I thank you a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.